This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. In today's competitive work environment, our greatest untapped resource may be our own motivation. Motivation is what drives us to make things happen, but staying motivated isn't always easy. What happens when you can't find your motivation, or you can't stay motivated long enough to finish a project or even keep up with daily tasks? You need to find your motivation. But where? Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about how to stay motivated in life. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. Most people want to change at least one thing in their life, but it can be challenging to find the motivation just to make a start. It helps to understand what motivation means to you so you can find your own ways to get motivated. So, what is motivation? Motivation is the process that initiates, guides, and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. It is what causes you to act, whether it is getting a glass of water to reduce thirst or reading a book to gain knowledge. Motivation involves the biological, emotional, social, and cognitive forces that activate behavior. In everyday usage, the term motivation is frequently used to describe why a person does something. It is the driving force behind human actions. Are you wondering what makes motivation so important in life? Well, motivation helps to ignite action for desired goals. It allows us to plan and execute. Motivation serves as a bridge between goal setting and goal attainment and hence, it is important. It allows us to incorporate changes which may be favorable, develop contingency solutions, and boost engagement in the process of goal attainment. It is a vital component which allows human beings to adopt, function effectively, and maintain healthy life outcomes in the face of adversity. What to do if you lose motivation? Setbacks are normal, but developing resilience can help you carry on and pick up where you left off. Here are some tips to help you find your motivation again. Positive and Negative Motivation Motivation is what drives you towards a goal, gets you get up in the morning, and keeps you working through a task. Determined to succeed when things get tough, but motivation can be both positive and negative. Positive motivations focus on positive things that will happen when you take action. For example, finishing this assignment means I'm only step away from being qualified. Negative motivations focus on the negative backlash that will occur if you don't take action. For example, if I don't finish this assignment in the next few hours, I'll fail my course. Negative and positive motivations can both be effective in different circumstances. However, it's much easier to do something because you actually want to, rather than because you want to avoid a particular outcome if you don't do it. If you don't have a positive plan of action, using negative motivation can make you feel helpless and may even reduce your motivation. Here are some tips to stay motivated in life. Number 1. Understand your why. Sometimes it's not so much the what or the how that matters, but your why, the purpose behind what you're doing. Being clear about what you're working for can give you the stimulus to stay on course. Number two, define your goal. Define goals, put your ideas into action mode. It's the vital step between planning and doing. Number three, create a clear vision. If you want to succeed, you must create a clear, compelling vision something that you can relate to and resonate with. If it doesn't speak to your heart, it won't motivate you to stay on target. Create the highest, grandest vision possible because you can achieve only what you see. Number four, produce a plan. Once you have a goal in place, a plan is will take your vision and break down the steps you need to get it done. A goal without a plan, as we know, is just a dream. Number five, look for a bigger picture. When you have to stay motivated, think of the bigger picture. How does this relate not only to yourself but to others? How will it contribute to something important? Where will this make a difference? To accomplish more, think bigger. Number 6. Keep it positive. Positive thoughts lead to positive actions, and self-affirming statements will help you to achieve your best. Take control of how you think, how you feel, how you act. Positivity will help you make the choices that lead to accomplishment. Number 7. Approach tasks in new ways. 
Sometimes, just getting started might be the problem. A different approach might give you a new perspective and more energy. Number 8. Break goals into manageable tasks. One important key to your success will be your ability to break down your goals into shorter term and smaller single tasks. Keep things manageable. Number 9. Get organized. Make sure your workplace is uncluttered so your mind can be organized. A calm environment gives you a better chance of being more efficient and productive. Number 10. Tackle procrastination head-on. Don't make excuses or waste time rationalizing why you haven't already started. Instead, try to uncover the real reason for the delay and get to work immediately. The best way to begin something is just to begin. Number 11. Seize the power of deadliness. Setting a time limit for an activity will enable you to assemble your resources and materials towards accomplishing things you might not otherwise get done. Number 12. Stop multitasking. Don't divide your attention but give your full and undivided self to the task at hand. When you do, your chances for success go way up. Number 13. Starve your distractions. Do what you need to do to stop being distracted by people, tasks, or electronics. Devise strategies to help you start and complete tasks without any distractions or interruptions. Number 14. Stay in the zone. Your best and most productive work is usually done when you're in the zone. Ask yourself how to create the perfect environment for you to do your best work and keep at it until you're done. Number 15. Choose success. Choose to be successful, then stick to your choice and see it through a conclusion. By creating a mental picture of yourself successfully completing a job, you can increase your chances of success. Number 16. Keep it fun. If you seriously want to stay motivated, find a way to make it fun. Fun is not the enemy but a great motivator. Number 17. Harness the power of optimism. Belief that you can accomplish something is essentially to your ability to do it. Optimism is the foundation of progress. Number 18. Reward yourself. Learn what it takes to get yourself to complete dreaded tasks and set up a system of rewards for completion. Number 19. Visualize yourself succeeding. Visualization is a powerful technique that can help you to focus, stay motivated, and achieve your goals. By creating a mental picture of yourself successfully completing a job, even the worst task can feel like part of achieving something big. Number 20. Get help you need. It doesn't necessarily take a village, but even if you could theoretically accomplish your objective alone, there's inherent value in sharing your plan. It's why people get married in front of witnesses. Announcing your intentions sends a strong message to the world and, more important, to your unconscious mind, which can sometimes sabotage our best efforts. Also, we often overestimate our abilities. The flip side is being highly selective about whom you can tell or ask for help. It's akin to the builder's rule to always get the right tool for the right job. If you've tried but failed to get motivated, then it might help to talk it through with someone you trust. Sometimes it can be hard to achieve things on your own. So having a good support network may help when you've taken on a big challenge. You could also try talking to a counselor who can help you to work out which motivating strategies will work best for you. Let us know how this video helped you to be motivated in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.